Um, this is just a quick video. I don't know if you've seen my proof of concept that I posted the other day, but essentially this is just how I'm showing a video in CarPlay. So let's have a look. So this is the project. It's literally, when I tell you it's an app on the phone and an application on the car, that's it. So I have access to... I have a CarPlay entitlement for calling and communication. That's a CarPlay entitlement, I'm not necessarily saying is required, but up to where I'm at now, you do require a CarPlay entitlement um, to do this. You at least require one of them. So CarPlay entitlements provide this entitlement. The template application, C, CP template application, did connect to interface, blah, blah, blah. Interface, you get the idea. That would run. So, I was like, okay, that works. But Apple also provide this CarPlay entitlement. Template application, template application, CP application, scene, did connect to interface, to window. It provides me a CP window, which if you click into this, is just a type of UI window. I'm just checking it's still recording, good. So, that's just a type of UI window, okay. I was like, how can I get past this? So, what I did is I copied this, and I've got Hopper. There are other ones you might be aware of. I've got Hopper open. So, this is the CarPlay build. So, I looked at it, and I, I tried to find... Where is it? I went into the labels. In the labels, yeah, yeah. Um, so, CP... Template, application, whatever. You want the one, let me just find it. Did connect to controller. So, if we go to this. So, this is the send message to the function template application. Did connect. Did connect to interface controller, right? We actually, what we want to use is this one. So, I went into this. And if you click into this. If you control click into this. Is it, it's like this again. You get this little graph in Harper. So, this is the, yeah, this is the one we get. This is the one we want, the two window, right? As you can see, there's a check here that says app support CP application scene with window method. I looked this back, I went back here. Okay, and I looked here again. Deliver interface controller delegate. So if we look this up, so if we go and copy this, if I can copy that. CP application did right. It's got a block in Vocus Go. So if we look at this function, here you go. Um, deliver interface controller delegate. Right. Okay. So attempt to deliver interface. App ready to receive interface. This here is where the code lies that we need to override. So it says if should create CarPlay window equal to false. No, not equal to false. Not equal to false. Or should create... So there's actually that saying is equal to false, I think. I don't know. Mm -hmm, hold on. I think it's equal to false. Or whatever this is, is equal to false. Go to this block section, which is down here, which is this method here. And then this is saying, if that same condition go to this block, it's essentially saying, does your app implement, does your app, can your app implement the should create CarPlay window entitlement, template did connect window to window, or should the app only support the without window method, call this method. But if it's not set, call this method, which says your app does not implement, and then we crash, essentially. So what I said is I looked at this and went, right, this should create window method. Let's jump into that. Let's copy that. Let's look into this over here. This block function should create window method. Uh, what do we want this one? Which returns. It actually, um, if I can get it, there you go. Is this going to show what I want? No, it's not. Anyway, let's go back to the other method. What was the other method called? I can't remember what the other method called now. Somewhere of this. But essentially essentially what it says is this template application C, which is a CP application C, which is available within the current context, has a function on it that you can't see that says should create window. Okay? So what I did is I created a bridging header. 
So essentially, I'm going to swizzle the method to tell the method, yes, you should be able to create a window scene. So CP application swizzle. Oh, no, this is the bridge header. Sorry, so this is the bridge header. And I've created this function that you can see here. So, and then in the swizzling method, the CP template application scene swizzle, I'm swizzling this. So essentially, I'm saying original class, blah, blah, blah. You, if, you're aware, if you're aware of swizzling, you'll be aware of this. So essentially, what I'm saying is, should create window scene, CarPlay window, because you create CarPlay window, car window original is swizzled to the new one to the xyz should this one which essentially always returns true so if i bet this to say no when i run the application we're going to run the application in the build over here wait till the application is loaded over here give it a minute I was thinking about it, if I open this, so maybe it's not loaded yet, come on, cat, come on, there you go, here we go, we finally we're getting there, if I open this up, it'll crash, no, maybe not, why didn't it crash, ah, because I implement this one, so what this is actually, you can see that we've ran this invoke because we've printed out the block, but I'll just comment this out, so we don't implement the method without the window view, so you have to have a window. When you run this, and you open this, you'll get a D. Okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. The application called you to unauthorization. Application does not implement CarPlay template application like with blah, blah, blah. Essentially, it doesn't show you an error saying you implement the one with the C, the window, and you shouldn't. It just says you don't implement this one, because it doesn't control, it doesn't query and oh, we're in the application target now it doesn't query this one however swizzling and always returning true here means it does essentially what i think it's actually checking for it's checking for have you got a carplay entitlement and then this function in itself checks actually yeah you've got a carplay entitlement that is valid for a window now if i open it up it opens up, we get no errors. So, right, let's play a video in there. Let's play the standard video. So, I was playing some YouTube. But let's play the standard, like, Bugs Bunny template. So, essentially, what you do is you, you put in the URL, you click Upload Video. I've got a breakpoint set on updating token, because I'm trying to, I was trying to work out a way of doing it. Essentially, there's an issue. You have to instantiate your own... View controller. Let's just stop that. The only way to stop that is actually to close the application down. The only way you have to instantiate your own um, custom video player view controller that doesn't map to the hardware software bu buttons. Because if you do that, if you don't do that, when it loads in here, it tries to render that as part of the view. And it tries to access hardware buttons that, of course, don't exist on the view. But... This is compatible with iOS 17 and 18. That's what I've run it on. Um, yeah, just thought you'd be interested in that. I don't know if I'll make this code available. It's a bit sketchy, it's a bit shit. Let me show you what's going on in the view. Essentially, we just have this. And when we open it, we just listen for a call so that in the app, we can just call a completion that says, actually do this or do this. Um, but there you go, that's how this works. I hope this is interesting.